I just want to get into my video titled um, there was a Zilla at my wedding and it wasn't a bride Zilla um, I just want to start off about talking about my engagement um, got engaged in the 2007 okay my husband and I was talking about getting married at City Hall he actually wanted a small ceremony but I was geared to you know getting married at City Hall you know because of our budget at that time so the past at the church we attended it and at the time was like oh, you know let us throw your wedding you know you have a small ceremony this and that there was a sister, one of the sisters in the church, who I consider my friend, uh, who I thought was my friend. I didn't know anything about weddings and things like that, but she seemed to know a lot about weddings. She claimed she'd done weddings before, or she gave the impression that she did before. Ashley, my husband and I asked her to cook. We asked her and another woman in the church to cook for us because, you know, she has um, her own catering business. But turned out that she wanted to be my wedding coordinator or whatever like that. How my pastor was talking to each other about it. But anyway, let's get right to it. Okay. She claimed that I wasn't communicating with her enough about what I wanted and things like that. Now, I've told her this before. It seemed like she was cool at first until we announced our engagement. And then that's when I noticed a change in her. She had like, she's being so helpful to me, but at the same time, she was like, it seemed like she was just like trying to stab me in the back. It was like, she started to make me feel like, one minute, I'm this and I'm that and I'm a beautiful person. That's why you, she want to do this for me. And the next minute, it was like, she treated me like I didn't know what I was doing. Made me feel real inadequate at times. And she definitely carried the Jezebel spirit. She had that in her. She even admitted of having that spirit in her, like later on. But anyway, she took me to David's Bridals, to the bridal shop. Got my dress. I didn't get it that day. I had to have it um, altered and everything. But, yeah. Then. We went to the second fitting. She's like had that look in her face, like you know, it could, you could tell it was jealousy because at one time she claimed um, that she was engaged, and two weeks before the wedding she canceled it because he was a dog and blah blah blah, and this and that. She knew she was he was a dog before they got engaged anyway. Anyway, she just got kept giving me this look. I'm like, okay. It's clear that she's jealous, but I keep brushing it off, brushing it off. Or maybe, you know, maybe she having a bad day. Or maybe she wasn't really doing anything. We basically, well, I'll get to that later. But Okay, they gave a brother in our church, um, a little something for his appreciation. One of it happened to be a strawberry shortcake. I love strawberry shortcake. So, the same, you know, sister, she got the cake. And all I asked her, all I asked her was, will you get that cake? Then she was like, no, 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 no. You, you got to be on your diet because you got to be able to fit your dress and this and that. You know, blow my spot up in front of the church. This was like at the church and everything. So it was just the members there. 
and um, all the visitors I think left already. So it was just a small church. So it was just you know, the small the members that was left there. And I was getting ready to go downstairs. I was waiting for my fiance, and I happened to stand in the stairwell. And she said out loud in front of everybody, "Yeah, when we went to the filling, she barely could fit her dress." Blowing my spot up. And that wasn't true. I could fit my dress. It wasn't tight or nothing. It was a perfect fit. And uh, by the way, I lost 25 pounds anyway before, by the time my wedding got there. So, anyhow, while she gained weight, I lost weight. That was a lie. You know, like, being, like, talking to my fiance, being real loud and blowing my spot up. And I'm like... Okay, what the hell is her problem? And you know, I was upset from the time she agreed to be the wedding coordinator. I would say like the beginning of 2008 up until the day of our wedding. She's been like it was nothing but hell for me. I, I felt myself going through depression. I felt myself being depressed and everything. And I felt like, yes, I could say, well, forget it. You don't got to do nothing. Yeah, I could have said that. We maybe should have said that. But I don't know. When you... When you I love my church family and everything, but I'm going to keep it real. I felt like we was all being controlled. And this woman was somehow pulling the strings behind the scenes. But that's another story. But I just felt this oppression, depression, and this feeling of control. And I didn't like it. I felt like I was a, like a teenager again. And I hated that feeling. And me and this woman is the same age. I'm like, I'm a couple months older than she is. So, you know, I'm like, come on now. But anyway, okay. Get it 2008, she decided to be my wedding coordinator, but she wasn't doing anything. I don't know nothing about weddings, so I don't know, you know, I didn't know what I, so I decided to look into like websites and wedding. Um, magazines and things like that. She claimed I ain't calling enough. Every time I called her, the first time I called her, she was all like, you know what, I really don't want to do your wedding, but this, that, this, that, and try to put it on, she trying to like put it on, well, the bishops, they asked me to do this for you. But really, she wanted to do it to sabotage my wedding. I truly believe that now. She, When I found out Things I'm going to get to later about everything came out at the end. She truly tried to sabotage my wedding and try to put it like, well, she's being made to do it and she wasn't. Um, anyway, so first time she, when she first said she didn't really want to do this and, you know, she was like real nasty to me on the phone. I went to another woman in the church. She um real is real good at decorating things like that. And I heard that she got her, you know, she put together her little wedding. She had like a small, very small ceremony, intimate ceremony. I went to her for advice. And I said, you know what? You know, well let's, you know, let me and you go shopping, you give me some pointers and this and that. I was I just totally asked this chick out because she was really mean to me on the phone. I didn't really go to my pastor about it. Next thing you know, um, the other sister that I was gonna go shopping with and was gonna give me some pointers. Somehow she happened to mention, yeah, me and Angel, we gonna go shopping, and I'm gonna give her advice for her wedding. So they, so her, the pastor, and the sister that's supposed to be my wedding coordinator got together and they thought this woman was trying to take over when really I say no she had nothing to do with this I came to her because 
you know, so and so, I ain't gonna put her name out there, said she ain't wanna do my wedding. She ain't wanna do my wedding. She was real nasty to me. So I said, fine, I'll go to somebody else. So she gets this little blah blah blah. I mean she put on a real good performance. So about I'm a good person and she really wanted to do this for me and trying to claim I don't call her and this and that. I said, but and I confronted her. I said, but one minute you're like this, the next minute you're nasty to me. What what's the problem? Now after that, my pastor, our pastor had left us alone to hash it out. I said, what really is the problem? I mean, one minute you want to be bothered, next minute you don't. She said, I really don't. And I'm like, okay. You know, like, why do my wedding? Oh, because you're a good person.